Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Giant Killer here, welcoming you to episode number eight of our top five Hearthstone plays of the week. This week, we're getting straight into the action with number five. Our number five play this week is a submission from Brett B. This clip features Animal on Priest up against Mr. T Box on Shaman in an arena showdown. Animal played a Ysera last turn, but Mr. T Box is answered right back with an Earth Elemental. And in this play, Animal's out to prove that in this game, Lizard beats Rock. He starts by healing Ysera back to full with a circle of healing, then using the zero-cost dream he pulled out of Ysera last turn, he bounces the taunting Earth Elemental to clear the way for his dragon. Then he gives Ysera a nasty case of heartburn with inner fire, followed by a bad case of the vapors with the windspeaker he stole from Mr. T-Box using a thought steal on a previous turn. Finally, after a little shot of courage from the Defender of Argus, this rampaging lizard tramples Mr. T-Box's Tokyo for 26 points of damage and the win. Our number four clip this week features Hafu on Paladin up against Lethal on Mage, and Hafu's found herself in a sticky situation in what will be the last game of her arena run, as she's currently sitting at 11 and 2. Despite having her opponent down to one health for the last few turns, Hafu hasn't been able to deal that last point of damage thanks to Lethal's taunting Sunwalker. Lethal now has complete board control and, appropriately enough, lethal damage showing for next turn. That means all of Hafu's hopes and dreams rest on the small shoulders of this little knife juggler. Hafu can't even bear to watch as she summons a recruit to cause a knife. But this time, the knife juggler's aim is true. The resulting one-point jab gives Hafu the victory over Lethal and the 12-win key. This week's number three clip features Sharpie on Rogue up against Two-Tone on Warlock. And in this clip, Sharpie's about to take revenge for everyone who's ever lost to a Murloc Rush Warlock deck by giving his opponent a bad case of crabs. Sharpie's Hungry Hungry Crab starts out by munching on Two-Tone's Murloc Warleader. Sharpie then bounces the crab back to his hand using a Shadow Step, then sends it back out for zero mana to gobble up Two-Tone's Cold Light Seer. Sharpie returns the crab to his hand again with another Shadow Step, and sends it back to the Murloc Buffet one last time to have Two-Tone's Murloc Raider for dessert. Om nom 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 nom! Our number two clip this week is a submission from Matthias S. This clip features Wreckful on Rogue up against the Volus on Druid in ranked play. Last turn, instead of going for board control, Wreckful's opponent got a little reckless and challenged Wreckful to a death race, thinking he was safe on 32 life. This turn, Wreckful's about to show the Volus exactly how rogues do it. He starts out by dropping Leroy Jenkins, then backstabs the Druid of the Claw, pumping up his questing adventurer and drawing an Eviscerate thanks to his Auctioneer. Then he plays the Eviscerate for 4 damage to his opponent's face, and swings in with Leroy Jenkins before returning it to his hand with a Shadow Step. Next, he replays Leroy with his last 2 mana. With his questing adventurer now leveled up to a beefy 10-10, Wreckful then swings in with his minions for 20 damage, and finishes off the Volus with a double poison dagger for the win. And for our number one play this week, we've got Strife Crow on Druid up against Dankser on Warrior in a ranked game from Strife Crow's Climb Back to Legend rank in Season 2. This game, though, Dankser has proved to be more than just another rung in the ladder, pulling ahead with massive card advantage to bring Strife Crow down to one life and showing more than enough on board for lethal next turn. But Strife Crow's not done yet. This turn, he's bringing the pain by taking advantage of Dankser's two Acolytes of Pain and zero remaining cards in deck. He starts out by sending his Novice Engineer into Dankser's full health Acolyte, causing 5 fatigue damage. He shapeshifts to hit the Acolyte again, causing another draw and 6 more fatigue damage. His Ancient of Lore finishes off that Acolyte, causing 7 fatigue damage. And finally, Strife Crow's Charging Druid of the Claw smacks the last remaining Acolyte, causing 1 more draw and 8 fatigue damage for the win. Don't run from Strife Crow, you'll only die tired. And for our bonus clip this week, we present the RNG King of Hearthstone. Over the course of the series, we've had a few chances to showcase some incredible RNG luck at work in games of Hearthstone, but never before have we had conclusive evidence sufficient to crown someone the king or queen of RNG. Well, now we do. And his name is Noxious. Over the course of this one game, Noxious has proven that he is the undisputed king of the random number generator. Starting out on turn 4 when he casts a Golden Thought Steal, giving him two random cards from his opponent's deck, which just happened to be Ragnaros and Tyrion. Then, a few turns later, his stolen Ragnaros bullseyes the Bane Bloodhoof token to secure a dominant board position. Next, his first mind control tech nabs him his opponent's best creature. And, to put the icing on this RNG cake, a few turns later, his power of the Horde decides to give Noxious a Cairn Bloodhoof of his own. Oh yeah, and then he dop techs a second Faceless Manipulator to copy it twice. I've heard of RNG before, but this is ridiculous. Want to dethrone Noxious as RNG King? Send us a link of your most ridiculous string of RNG luck by visiting 2 pressstartcom slash submit a play. 
And while these credits are rolling, it's time once again to talk about the series. We are so grateful for the tremendous support we've received from all of our fans. This week we passed the 5,000 subscriber mark, and we can't thank you enough. Thank you so much to everyone who's watched and enjoyed and shared our shows. We really appreciate every single bit of feedback, and we are always looking for suggestions on how to improve the show. As always, we really appreciate your help in growing our channel and spreading the word about our Top 5 show. So if you like our Top 5 Plays series, please share this video with all your friends, and if you haven't done so yet, please be sure and click that subscribe button to help us keep this channel growing. We're also on the lookout for more amazing Hearthstone plays to showcase on the series, so if you've seen or recorded an amazing play, please stop by 2ppressstart.com and click on that Submit a Play link for instructions on how to enter an epic play into the running for the next Top 5 Plays video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.